<laughs> this is Q&A, live and interactive. Let's move along. Our next question comes from Santo Passarello. Noni, your most recent literary reading has created some controversy. And whilst we live in an increasing sec secular society, do you think that uh, you've contributed to the continued weakening of moral and ethical standards by the normalisation of such language? OK, no. now, hang on. Let's, <laughs> let's take a look at uh, the book reading that Santo is asking about first, and then we'll know what we're talking about. Hello. The story today is about a little baby who doesn't want to go to sleep. And the baby is making Mummy and Daddy very tired. Do you know a baby like that? <laughs> Here's the story. <laughs> the cats nestle close to their kittens. The lambs have lain down with the sheep. You're cosy and warm in your bed, my dear. Please go the fuck to sleep. <laughs> now, Noni, um, he's brilliant. The question, the questioner asks, are you weakening the moral and ethical standards of the community? All by myself. Um... <laughs> no, there was a film crew there. <laughs> no, the reason that I uh, wanted to do the book is because when I read it, I laughed like a drain because I, my oldest child was two before he slept through the night. And I also thought, because I did play school, that I should be able to cope with a small child. And I think one of the issues that faces parents is that they are totally and utterly shocked by the exhaustion that they feel. And often this goes on for years. And sometimes this can lead to awful things being done to their children because they are so exhausted. The reason this book has gone feral throughout the world <laughs> is because it resonates with almost everyone who's ever had a young child in our society and who is absolutely flabbergasted that they cannot, they may be functioning adults out in the business world, but for the life of them, they can't make a small child go to sleep. <laughs> so I, I was very pleased to Is this the way to do it, to swearing do it. at them? <laughs> anyone, anyone with half a brain knows it's not a book for children. <laughs> Okay, I but they've actually signed a movie the... deal with the author, so okay. maybe Hollywood's realising that and, and real issues. You're complaining real about how the prime minister is being treated. <laughs> Let's no. uh, just just hold. No, come on, there's a double standard here. No, it's there's like... oh, there's a double, double standard. standard. That's ridiculous. Ridiculous. How? That's Even for you, Tom, that's ridiculous. How? <laughs> young kids. Young kids. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Young kids will grow up learning that word right from the outset and you're complaining about uh, the Prime Minister being subjected to a bit of scrutiny on, on the airwaves? Oh, Give me a break, Noni. Well, that's a Australia, really this long audience, this, so this audience will get all hot and bothered by that response. No, but no, 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 no. Bottom, Bet your bottom dollar, a lot of Australians listening to this would be disgusted by that. They would be disgusted by that. Yes, no, some see, Australians another would be. Another class would be disgusted by that. If you look at the percentage you clapped when you said that... Oh, in this I think, audience? I think there's an enormous <laughs> hypocrisy. It's an evenly spread audience. Right. An enormous yes, hypocrisy in Australia about the use of four-letter words. I think, I think they're using a lot Not more hands than anyone ever admits. Joe, come on, but mate. He wasn't, she wasn't reading it to young children. I wasn't, wasn't reading it to It wasn't on Play School. No, no, it wasn't no, on no, Play School, you clown. No, no, it's the kind of response that ignorance engenders about what was happening. If you're going to worry about the welfare of young children, why don't we give the people who are in control of advertising standards a little bit more teeth. They're not so that, hang on, on can television? I finish? They're not I'm swearing, not on, swearing national... on national television. No. They put it on. I didn't <laughs> put it on. <laughs> Good response. And, response. and have you not watched any program beyond 8.30 at night on any channel <laughs> in those, Australia? Those children are asleep by then, I think. Well, that's the idea, hopefully. <laughs> But, you know, <laughs> I'm, but can I just say, I'm much more concerned, I'm much more concerned about things that parents can't control their children's access to, such as offensive billboards, mm. such as, you know, the kind of things that are on magazine covers at child height. Uh, and, you know, if parents have got half a brain, and I assume most of them do have at least a half a brain, they understand that what I did is for them. Uh, Kelly O'Dwyer. Um, well, look, having... I, I, I've got to say, I do agree with, um, with Noni's comments about concerns with advertising because I do think we are seeing increasing sexualisation of children and I think we're also seeing some, some really quite, you know, if you want to talk about demeaning images of women, we're seeing some very, very demeaning images of women on billboards, which I think sends, you know, completely the wrong message to people. But um, on, the question of, uh, on the question of going to sleep, I looked after 
four children under the age of eight um, at night for a friend. Uh, the two-year-old was the only one that I couldn't get to sleep. I got the two boys and I got the eldest child to bed, but the two-year-old I couldn't get to bed and I sent out a tweet at nine o'clock at night saying, does anybody have any advice? How do I get the two-year-old to bed? And I had lots of advice about the fact that, really, the liquor cabinet was an option. Um, <laughs> you know, not, not just for me, apparently. Um, and, and it went from there. So I think, I think what, what Noni has talked about does strike a nerve. I think people, you know, people in the community do have these frustrations. And I think, you know, my, my view is it's a, a humorous and, and harmless way, you know, to, to let off a bit of steam. And the reaction yeah. I've had, the reaction well, I've had, can I just say, the reaction I've had has been overwhelmingly positive um, and people are mostly relieved that they're not alone in feeling um, these I, things. I've Mark, Mark Dreyfus. And I've got to say, it, it gave me a big laugh. It's, it's a long time since I tried to put my three children to bed. Um, now it's more a matter of wondering when they're going to wake up. Um, <laughs> but uh, I think anyone that's tried to put a two-year-old or three-year-old to bed knows that that book, an adult book, uh, conjures, up pretty well, <laughs> conjures up pretty well the feelings of exasperation that anyone that uh, has been trying to do that has felt. OK, let's listen. Tom, very... Tom, uh, Tom uh, just... Uh, yeah. uh, do you accept that it's actually not really meant to be read to little children? <laughs> 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 I think I'm very lucky. Our daughter goes to sleep at 7 o'clock and she wakes at 7 o'clock. No so idea. I don't have any idea <laughs> about this. No, I fully understand the pressures that parents yeah. have. And Look, I don't think it should be banned or anything. I just... I, I, as a That's conservative, true. I don't think it's appropriate language to use in front of young kids. I it's know that a lot of people don't like it. Look, I'm serious when I say that, but, you know, you can be condescending. That's just my it's view and, and it's the view kids. of a lot of other Australians, I suspect, who are watching this show. So. Uh, Graham. Okay. No, I've said no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I can't go without asking you the Facebook question that really took my fancy, Noni, and we're nearly out of time, but Linda Jardine asked, what's Big Ted really like? And I must say, we, we laid a few bets as to whether you'd just say stuffed. <laughs> Well, I can't now. No, he's, he's a bit temperamental. You're not allowed to look him in the eyes. Um, and he just retreats to his trailer at every opportunity. OK, it's almost time for us to retreat to our trailers. Please thank our panel, Tom Switzer, Mark Dreyfus, Noni Hazelhurst, Kelly O'Dwyer and Graham Richardson.